you're someone like me who has struggled with digestion for most of your life and you've been given a diagnosis of maybe IBS or SIBO or candida or maybe you're just always prone to having a sensitive stomach or diarrhea or no matter how healthy you eat you're always getting bloated or you're always getting constipated and missing a day of bowel movements. Maybe you've tried a detox or a cleanse. Actually, for most of us, you probably have tried at least one. Now, one of the most common scenarios I run into and have run into being a GI patient for most of my life is that maybe you try a detox or a cleanse or a trending diet for your digestion and things are better for a while, but then they just go back to how they always were. Now in this video, I wanna share one Chinese medicine perspective on why that's the case and what you can do to actually get to the root cause of it. Hey, I'm Dr. Alex Hine, author of the health book, Master of the Day, herbalist and internal medicine specialist. Now I've included two very important links below this video. The first link is if you wanna become a patient of mine, either locally at my private practice or online via telemedicine, there's a link beneath this video. The other one is for a free download, which is four daily rituals that can help you add 10 years to your life with traditional Chinese medicine. So you can check those out both below this video. Now let's talk about this idea of software versus hardware. This was one of the first analogies that a Chinese medicine doctor that helped me named Jacques, one of the first things that he taught me. And it was, I was in his office one day and I was complaining that here I am with all these gut problems and yet I eat healthier than anyone I know. I work out more religiously than anyone I know. I have a low stress, easy, fulfilling life. Unlike most people I know, why am I having these problems still? After all these diets, all these cleanses, I've tried everything there is. Why am I having this problem? I have friends, they can go out and eat Taco Bell every day and they poop like a champ. Why not me when I'm eating the Mediterranean diet, supposedly the healthiest diet there is? And Jacques gave me this great piece of advice. And he said that for you, it's basically a hardware issue. It doesn't mean that it's not something that can be fixed or remedied. It just means that for you, your body has this constitutional or genetic tendency towards a certain problem. So for you, even though you eat healthy, your body has these kinks that have to get worked out before it can even digest regular healthy food. Whereas your friend who has no problem, that was just the luck of the draw. They have good digestion, the hardware is good, they can eat Taco Bell, poop it out, no problem. They don't have any, they don't feel it in their body, they're not uncomfortable, they don't get constipated or diarrhea they're good. So ironically, the mark of healthy digestion is that you can eat everything, pretty much, no problem. Not the mark of your dietitian or nutritionist who can only eat three foods to have functioning GI. That's not a sign of a good, healthy digestion. It's similar to how asthma works. Some people have that family genetic lineage of asthma, also, unfortunately, like my family. There is even though I work out four or five days a week, I don't have to do anything to manage asthma, I'm not worried about dying of an asthma attack, you know, there's, there's no lifestyle practice that's gonna really make my asthma permanently go away. Whereas someone else who may smoke cigarettes every day <laughs> and have a very sedentary life, they may not right now have any kind of asthma or any breathing difficulties. They may have a better lung capacity in the short run than even I do with a health conscious life full of exercise. So there are these certain constitutional tendencies that are very important in Chinese medicine because for almost everyone, what we're doing, if you're not an acute case, is we're treating your constitution, which is your combination of your genetic and your lifestyle factors that are all fused into one and give a sort of pre-existing template that has certain strengths and has certain weaknesses. I've talked about this in the videos where we've gone into understanding the qi dynamic the energy dynamic, as well as figuring out what the chinks are in your armor. Now, one other thing that I think is very important is that for many of these patients, Chinese herbs I've found are absolutely essential. And the good news is that when some of the healing process is done, for example, we work on healing and decreasing the permeability of the small intestine. Once that ends up happening, people can often reintroduce foods they never could eat in a long time like gluten or dairy or other foods. So what happens when you're going on a cleanse, for example, is that you are changing the software, which is the food going into your body. You're installing the manual software. Okay, we're gonna install you know, green juice diet today. We're gonna install the carnivore diet tomorrow, but the hardware is still the same. They're all incompatible with a Mac. 
<laughs> right? You're trying to install this new program and it's so irritating because it just never was designed to work in a Mac. Now, again, the problem is not necessarily the food. The problem is not necessarily those things, even though an elimination diet can be really, really helpful or a elemental diet, that specific carbohydrate diet, strict paleo. Those are often helpful and essential in a lot of cases but they're often not the long-term fix. So you change this diet, you change the cleanse, things are happening and you feel pretty good, but then you go like 30 days without carbs is not easy for anybody. You go, you reintroduce carbs, you may be good for a while, you may not be good for a while, and then things explode and happen again. So the problem is really fixing the underlying hardware. For a lot of people, they just end up eating a more restrictive diet essentially for the rest of their life. And you can do that, if you have the willpower to do that, that's fantastic. But if you don't, then what? So I wanna leave you with this final thing, which is that the root cause may be deeper than a dietary issue. Now, if you're working with a great integrative health practitioner or someone who's really familiar with this stuff, they'll be giving you other things to work on what's now trendily called leaky gut. But in general, the underlying cause may be deeper than diet. And I find that frequently it is. I found that even on my own process of trying to heal my digestive problems, I would follow for me the specific carbohydrate diet for over 10 years. That was the main thing that got me clinical success. But it was difficult. It's difficult to not eat carbs. And as a guy who's already so skinny, who lifts weights to lose more weight and being already an underweight guy historically was not easy mentally and emotionally for me. So I found that the ability of Chinese herbs to allow me to not only eat not eat a specialized diet, but to eat everything again, was pretty miraculous. The fact that I didn't have to make neurotic food choices, the fact that I did not have to make just basically these choices out of exclusion, like I can't eat that, I can't eat that, I can't eat that. So I have one restaurant I can eat at, and it's the same thing. I found that not having to do that anymore was one of the most freeing things I'd ever experienced. So this is what I found clinically as well. If you're finding that you are on these cleanses over and over and over and you're not getting results or you're getting results, you feel good, but then it's unsustainable, then I would highly recommend seeking out someone who specializes in Chinese herbs because based on my own experience, that's been one of the most effective ways, by far more effective than supplements, L-glutamine, probiotics, anything like that, I was completely unimpressed by. Personally, I found it to be the most effective thing in terms of long-term and short-term, being able to just live like a normal person, eat like a normal person. So I hope that helps. I know how frustrating it is when you, you genuinely do take good care of yourself, but you just cannot get something under control. It's one of the most frustrating things I've certainly experienced, and now a lot of my patients have. And I hope that gives you another option. So again, if you'd like to become a patient of mine, there's a link below this video. I'm accepting patients locally, as well as online Chinese herb consultations, telemedicine throughout the continental US. There's also a free guide below this video on four daily rituals that can help you add 10 years to your life with traditional Chinese medicine. Now before you go, check out these last two final related videos.